Welcome everybody to the Season 13 of the Castrol GTX Cup Series. We are at the World Center of Speed, as we always are, for the running of the Great American Race, the Daytona 500. Should be a great race here today at the, the newly paved Daytona Race Track. It gave us a great race in the, in the inaugural Meliola Truck Series. And so we expect to see the same for the Castrol GTX Cup Series cars. A lot of new names and new um, schemes for this season. So, it'll be interesting to see how this all comes out. <clears throat> and the manufacturer's breakdown for this season, 14 Chevrolet, 14 Fords, excuse me, 10 Chevrolets, 7 Pontiacs, 4 Oldsmobiles, and 3 Buicks in the field here today. And so, without further ado, here's the starting lineup for the season 13 Daytona 500. And so, to all the rookies in this series, we say welcome to the series, I should say. And some quite a few returning faces as well. We'll get to that as the race goes on. 20 laps of distance here today at Daytona. And here comes the command to fire them up here for the Daytona 500. Drivers, stop your engines! Man, give the fire the engines as we get set for racing here today. And this is the big one, under the lights at Daytona International Speedway. Anticipation running pretty high here today. But there you see a couple of veterans, Zed Weinstein on the 70. His first Daytona 500 pole, I believe, too. And alongside of him on the front row, Jessica Shelton. And the new look, number nine, Coors Melling Ford. Down one year of the Model Ford, she was driving the last couple seasons, she had a 91 model Ford last season. This is a 1990 model Ford Thunderbird that she is running on the outside. Red and white this time instead of the customary blue and white she has been racing. So Pontiac and Ford on the front row for this, the Daytona 500. Pace car on the pit road. Zed Weinstein leaning him down. The green flag about the wave and... Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boys and girls. Field on the break into turn number one. Zed Weinstein leading him down, but here comes car number six, Liam Campbell, one of the rookies in the series. Been getting the shove from the 20 of Dalton Day. Speed's building already up to 204 miles an hour at this point of the track as the field screams in the turn three. And look at car 12, Johnny Gardner, the man who won the season one Daytona 500. Tries to get the shove in the 28 of Keith Batson in the new look 28 on that car. And who's going to lead the first lap? Will it be Campbell or will it be Weinstein at least the first lap? It will be Zed Weinstein to lead the first lap of the Daytona 500. First lap, 191.9 miles an hour, but they're just getting warmed up. This lap's going to be much faster. Johnny Gardner to the number one spot. Here comes Keith Batson, car 28, to the inside. Of the, here, new look for this car. That's a 1992 Thunderbird he's driving. But inside comes car 31, Dylan Poteet, the only two-time Daytona 500 winner in this series. Won his race in season five and season nine. And now turn number four, it's Poti, who lead the who lead lap number two of this race. Second lap, 211.23 miles an hour. And as they say at any track here, the night time is the right time, and it's playing true at Daytona. Poti with the lead. Here comes number 94, Brendan Berg. 
In the number 94, Sunoco Ultra Oldsmobile, he's on the inside, but here comes Ann Badson, makes a three wide net three car. And one of the top rookies that we're going to be mentioning, uh, maybe mention a lot of here for the Internet CRA, Nathan Hudson, car 55. He's in his first casual GTX Cup Series start, but he's no stranger to NR 2003 racing. And he's right there behind Batson for number two, in a number two position. And meanwhile, three wide behind for the third spot, Charles Sanford, car 24. Has a number two, as it takes third away, but with the help of Jasmine Acosta, number seven, she's making her return to the series. But here comes Sanford to the inside, three wide between he, Hudson, and Ann Batson. <coughs> Alpha in the third turn, uh, down through the third and fourth turn as they go. Hudson and Sanford are side by side. Meanwhile, Trent Dunham begins to roll on the inside. The man who won the truck race. Would like to go to the Daytona, Daytona sweep as we know all we know about him and Daytona. Dunham back with the back with Sega Motorsports at number one Skull Classic oh, uh, Ford. He's driving one of his many cars for the Sega Motorsports stable. He's racing. And he's got his buddy Seth Cole behind him, or had his buddy Seth Cole behind him. Excuse me. And now he tucks back in behind. Seth with a new look at his number 52 Ford, with now sporting a little Napa know-how on his NSCRA Motorsports Thunderbird. And meanwhile, Charles Sanford takes the lead away with the help of Trent Dunham. As they come out to number four. Five laps in the books here, just an explosive start to this Daytona 500. And here comes Dunham, three wide for the lead. And he's got it. Trent Dunham to the number one spot in car number one. And his guy's buddy Seth Cole behind him. Kyle Matthews in 42. The Melly Yellow Pontiac right there behind. He's got the help from, he's got the help from William Duncan in 25. <clears throat> two four talking about behind the top two spots of Pontiac in third. And a pair of Chevrolets, fourth and fifth. But now Charles Sanford takes third position away from Kyle Matthews. They come out or down, or actually, excuse me, for Nathan Hudson. But here comes Seth Cole for the inside of the lead, and he's got it in turn number one. Two hundred ten miles an hour, mile an hour laps here at Daytona. See if you two, saw a few two elevens here. As Kyle Matthews goes inside to take the lead, he's got the help from the 25 of William Duncan and the 90 of Joshua Osborne. Some improvements made to that number 90 Public Supermarkets Ford for Jenny Donlevy Racing. Of course, Osborne, the season two champ of this series. And right behind him, Andres Allen making his return at number 14, Copenhagen Oldsmobile for AJ Foyt Racing. He's right there in the mix as well. 22, Cameron Gadu. A new name to NR2003 Racing, and he's mixing in there as well. He's in the top 10 now, getting by Charles Sanford. He's got the help from the 18 of Mason Powers. He's right in there too, and also number 43, Joshua Collard. Yep, that is Joshua Collard in 43, not Mike Becker this time. Becker with a different ride this season. Becker this season driving the number 19 Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Ford in this series here this season. William Duncan has the lead now, but here can it come. Three wide, Cameron Gadu, car 22. Got the inside lane, he's got the lead. But here comes 18, Mason Powers, he's on the inside, and at number 18, Interstate Batteries, Chevrolet. And meanwhile, Joshua Collard begins to roll on the inside, third, trying for fourth, or fifth, excuse me. On board, Joshua Collard's car. <clears throat> it 
look at the speed increase on that car here. 212 miles an hour, 213 on the back stretch. And that's when the back bumper came of uh, Joshua Collard's car. Heard him have to let out the throttle a little bit. Here comes that's number 11 right behind that is Henry Cavana. Collard rides fourth right now. And here comes 17, Preston Plord. And they're riding that number 17 car. New sponsor as well. With Western Auto, the Tide paint scheme went to the number 5 car. They see it just right behind the car behind Plord, which is Jordan Newman in 29, the man who won the last time he was at Daytona. For the Pepsi 400s. Meanwhile, Andres Allen will take the lead. As we head down for nine laps to go, just a fast-paced Daytona 500. But that five car right behind Jordan Newman is Ty Dent, a rookie in the series, and he's also another guy making his name in Inter 2003 Racing. Number five, Ty Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. And he's got 66 behind him. That is Ryan Rollins, another rookie, and number another, yet yeah, another rookie in the 27 McDonald's car. That's Mason Jefferson. Right behind. The 27 car was to have had Miller genuine draft and it was to have been a Pontiac. But this, but at the last minute, but a better deal, I should say, switched to McDonald's and Ford for the season. And right now, mixing it in with the best of them here at Daytona. As now it comes Preston Plord inside of William Duncan for number two. But Preston wants more. He wants to go for the number one spot. Preston Plore, car 17, the Western Auto Chevrolet. And problems with car number 15, that's Hayden Jefferson. He's off pace a little bit. Ty Dent makes a look to the inside of Preston implored for the number two position as Pre as Andres Allen continues to hold the lead. He's, I'm surprised he's held the lead for as long as he's had. <clears throat> Here at Daytona, they're going to catch Hayden Jefferson. Question is, what's going to happen when he do catch him? And they will, no question, catch him before the end of the race. Here comes 27, Mason Jefferson. To the inside, he's got the number one spot with the help of number 30, Trey Campbell, who's making his return to season, his first, his first race in season three. And Campbell is the fastest lap of the race at 213.04 miles an hour. And now, Andres Allen. Caught up on the high side now. Kate Culp at number eight to the inside. And you're on board with Kate Culp in the number eight Snickers Buick. Having it back up just a little bit there down the back stretch. And they have caught the 15 of Hayden Jefferson. Now what's going to happen now? Hayden getting a little draft, no question here. Well, apparently what happened with Hayden Jefferson's car, he lost the draft is what's looking like here. And that couldn't happen at Daytona there. You lose the draft and you drop about 10, 15 miles an hour. Sort of what you what, the, what they you do and what you do run in the draft. And now Trey Campbell makes it with the inside for the lead and he's got it. And he's got Ryan Rollins at 66 behind him, and Ryan Acosta, another new, another name, new to the series, as he's gonna, as he makes a go at number four car. Four laps to go here at Daytona. Don't pencil in your winner yet. It's gonna get pretty hairy in these final four laps, as Trey Campbell holds on to the number one spot. That's the car that won last season with Zachary Fitzwater behind the wheel. New 
associate sponsor on the Country Time Pontiac there now with Maxwell House the associate sponsor on that car. And look at Trey go backwards. It's now Ryan Rollins and Ryan Acosta. Car four to the inside for the lead. He's got with Mike Becker shoving him in number 19. And Chris Washer with a brand new team, the number 98 bank banquet frozen foods Chevrolet. And they're all getting into it. Dalton Day's into it. And Batson's into it. And a three car. She makes a go out of it. Nathan Hudson. He's in there as well. They all want to win this Daytona 500. Part of the race where Kenny Rogers says you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And the chips are down right now. Washer with the lead at the moment, but here comes Ryan Rollins. He's got the shove from Ann Batts, and here comes Nathan Hudson on the inside. Three wide for third. Nathan Hudson makes it to the inside. He's got inside of lane on, on Chris Washer. Two laps to go at Daytona. Three wide. Here comes 55, Nathan Hudson. To the inside. He's got the shove of Michael Walton at number 33. Pole sitter, Zed Weinstein's in there. He's making it, he's making it go out to the end of the race there. Weinstein in the 70. Dylan Young in the 2. They're all getting into it now. This time might be the white flag. be one lap remaining in the Daytona 500. The start finish line, they come. The white flag waves. One more lap remaining. Who's it going to be in the next in the next one of 500? Nathan Hudson out in front. Here comes Ed Weinstein. Three wide for the lead. Zed Weinstein, car number 70, out in front. Here comes Dylan Young, car number two. Three wide now. Here comes 94, Brendan Berg to the inside. Weinstein tries to throw the block, but Berg is side by side. Here they come off the fourth quarter. Berg on the outside. Weinstein on the, on the outside. Side Berg on the inside. They're side by side. The line is going to be... Zed Weinstein winning the Daytona 500! Zed Weinstein in his, here has finally won the Daytona 500 in the Castle GTX Cup Series. From the pole to the podium, the number 70 Rumpel Furniture Pontiac for J, here for JD McDuffie takes it all here today. In a tremendous duel with Brendan Berg to the start-finish line. What a finish. And here's the, and here's the average, average speed, 208.89 miles an hour. That's racing. March of victory, 047 to the start-finish line. First race on this 2014 Daytona configuration, and it is... Produce a tremendous show here. Zed Weinstein wins the race. Brendan Berg second. Nathan Hudson third. Johnny Garden will come on fourth. Dylan Young fifth. Sixth was Leanne Campbell. Seventh, Michael Walton. Chris Washer eighth. Ninth, Jasmine Acosta. Tenth, Ryan Rollins. Mike Becker was eleventh. Twelfth, Seth Cole. Thirteenth, Ryan Acosta. Ann Batson fourteenth. Jessica Shelton fifteenth in the race. Trey Campbell, Dalton Day, Dylan Pote, Joshua Collard, and Jordan Newman, the top 20 in today's event. And then a little bit further down the field, Keith Batson, not a factor, finishes in 21st. Charles Sanford, Joshua Osborne, Kate Culp was 24th. Kyle Matthews, 25th, and there's the rest of the finishing order here. Unbelievable racing here at Daytona. And there's he right down the J. Hayden Jefferson finished a lap down in 38th. So apparently, uh, apparently he did get out of the draft here. So um, so that was your finishing order here for Daytona 500 as as Zed Weinstein, the number 70 Rumpel Furniture Pontiac in 1990, driving an 89 Rumpel Furniture Pontiac, takes the win as we had the Rockingham next for the GM Goodrich Service 400. And there's your...
excuse me, points as they are right now. I mean, I know it's a little bit early to show the points here, but every point you gain goes a long way to win the championship here. We had 12, we had 11 champions in the first, in the 12 seasons, so. And there you see the rest of the order right now for the points. So. So, next race on the tour will be at Rockingham, North Carolina, the GM Goodrun Service 400. Don't miss it.